Thank you for choosing Braille Chabot's Pedigree Database. In this video, we're going to show you how to enter a dog whose parents have not yet been added into the database. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to log into your account, and then we're going to go back to that add a dog function. Now, just like we did with Mandy, we're going to go up here to the top and see if this dog has already been added. And as you can see, zero results. This dog has not yet been added to the database, so we can continue. Now, I'm going to add in the information that I know off the top of my head first, such as the dog's call name, their color, um, where they might have been born. I also know the owner of this dog, as this is a friend's dog. And that's pretty much all the information that I know just right off the top of my head. So now I'm going to continue on to trying to find her information in the various different websites that we like to use. So I did end up finding her pedigree on Working Dog. So that's the first place that we're going to look. As you can see, this is Kia's Working Dog page. Um, the first thing that stands out to me is that she does have a picture on here. So I can go and take this picture, save it to my computer, and use it later on when I add pictures into this dog's pedigree, which I've already done. So you would just right click on the picture and save it to your computer. So the next thing is that you can see this dog's date of birth. So the date of birth is 10-23-15. And that's pretty much all right here at the top. Um, I can see that the dog was bred in Spain um, and it probably has a registration number over there but on here on working dog there is no more information as far as registration numbers I can see that working dog has the owner as Jill Rose um, and I do know that she is the co-owner so I can comma and add her into the owner section right there so now we're going to scroll down here and here is Kia's pedigree. So all we're going to do is take this top side, copy part of the name, and enter it here. And looky there, Sire is right there. So then we can go back, and now the bottom side, Joey Warrior Soul. That one's pretty easy to type in. and no results. So because there are no results, I'm going to click out and we will enter the Dan side later on. So I'm just going to skip that for now. So as I look at the rest of Working Dog, it doesn't look like there's any other information that I can use. So I am going to keep Working Dog up though because when we go in to fill in the Dan side, we can come back here and use the rest of this side of the pedigree when entering in the rest of uh, Kia's full pedigree. So the next place that I'm going to look is I realize I don't have a registration number here for Kia. I do know that she is AKC registered, so I'm just going to look her up in the AKC dog search. If I wasn't 100% sure if she was AKC registered, I could still look her up in the AKC dog search just to make sure. But here she is, I already looked her up, and here we can pull this registration number. Because this is a friend of mine, if I wanted to, I could just reach out to my friend and see um, what information I could pull from my friend. Um, but because some of this information is already available online, we can just pull it straight from online. So you can also see that Kia has her CGC, so I can add that into the post title section. 
And now there doesn't really look like there's any other information that I can pull from either of those websites, so I can move on to the health section. And like before, we can look up the dog in the top right hand section of the OFA website. So I typed in her name, hit the search button, and six entries mapped. All six entries are Kia. So I'm just going to scroll down. And again, just like Mandy, we're just going to go down the line and enter in all of these OFA results. So hips are first. 11, 21, 17. And those hips were good. Elbows, same date, normal. Eyes were done on December 7th, 2017, but because eyes are something that you have to get done every single year, if I just look down, I can see that she's already updated those eyes last year. So I'm going to skip this one and just put in the new date here because on the pedigree database, we can only put in one date for each health test. So we want to make sure it's the most up to date one. So May 7th, 2020, normal. And now cardiac, 12 2017. And we're going to copy and paste. And this dog does have a shake number, so I can copy that of, as well. And of course, the link to the OFA website. Now, if you didn't want just the link to pop up on your dog's page, if you wanted to write something else, um, you could put the URL in this first box and then type in, say, OFA in the second box. So, and I'll show you guys in just a minute, when we save out this dog, all you're going to see on her page is the words or the letters OFA, but you will be able to click on that and go straight to the dog's page. If you want the link to be um, showing instead of just OFA, you can put the link here too, and it will show the link instead of those that word OFA. The same for down here in the Embark section. If I had access to this dog's Embark, I could put the URL here and then just type Embark in the link text, um, or I could just put the URL again. So that looks like everything that we can pull from the OFA website. And we're just gonna double check to make sure all of our information is spelled correctly. Oh, I forgot the pictures. We always want to make sure we add those pictures. So we're just going to click, I certify and choose file. And as you can see, I already have some of Kia's pictures up here at the top, but you can also see these are some other dogs that we've already entered that I pulled pictures for. So we're just going to go in and start adding pictures. Now the maximum number of pictures that you can put on your dog's um, page is five photos, but you can always delete if you don't like a certain picture, um, or if say you don't feel like puppy pictures really matter anymore, you can always delete those pu puppy pictures and then add in some adult pictures later on. Now say this is how you uploaded them, but you want this puppy picture first because you just think it's the cutest thing on the planet, 
you can scoot it over just like this. Or if you really want that mature dog photo to be first, scoot it back over. There you go. Um, and then you just save. And as you can see, they're all right there in the photo section. So now that we have entered all the information that we know on this dog, we're going to save and go to pedigree. And as you can see, it says this dog has not been approved. Like we said before, admins are going to have to approve every single dog that you enter into the pedigree database. And as you can see here, the link isn't popping up like it did on Mandy's, it just says OFA. So that's just a preference um, if you guys can do it either way you want, but just make sure that that link does pop up for everyone. So as we scroll down, we already have the sire side, so we can scroll past that one. And as you can see, the dam side is completely blank, which also means that this part here at the bottom is not going to be complete. So once we have all of this done for Kia, the next thing to do is add in her dam. And because we're already on a pedigree, we can just add the dam straight in from here. And as you can see, it'll say no results, but you can say click to make a new dog. And here we go. We can just keep on going throughout the pedigree to add in the dogs that we need that have not yet been added into the database. In order to save a dog, the only required fields are name and sex, but we really, really want to make sure that we have all information that we can possibly find on a dog before saving, just so we don't forget to go back and add in all that information or so we're not leaving it on the admin team to clean up all of those dogs and all of those pedigrees. So just for um, training purposes, I'm not going to fill out all of this dog's pedigree, but I do want to show you guys one other website that you can use in order to find um, dog information, especially foreign dogs. Um, so I just typed in Jody Warrior Soul into Google, and while it did come up with Working Dog, it also came up with the Czech Boceron um, web page, which looks like this. Now, my browser gives me the opportunity to translate this into English, but just make sure you're being careful when you do that because Google will also translate names into what they think the English versions of those are. So if you are going to translate back and forth, see how this now says Cedars. We don't want to copy and paste the English version. We want to make sure that those names are correct. So you can go back and forth to make sure that you're getting the correct information, but we do want to copy and paste the correct information. So as you can see, let's go back to English so we can read. <laughs> um, the mother and father are on here. Sometimes owner and breeder information is on here as well. Birth dates, registration numbers. Um, sometimes they'll also have links to pedigrees. Um, and as you can see down here, our Kia Kai Car um, Carla is not on here because she was imported to the US, but some of her other litter mates are on here. So this is a really great tool to be able to add in the rest of Kia's um, litter mates once you're finished with this dam side. You can add in all of those names and of course they will have, if for the ones with the same sire, will have the same birth dates. So this is just another tool that we can use and I'm just going to go ahead and grab this registration number so that I can add it onto Jody Warrior Souls page here. And I saw in that picture, she is a Harlequin. That is something that will not always be provided. Right here, it does say color H, um, but sometimes you won't be able to tell just based off of, um, if it didn't have a picture, just based off of this information, what color the dog is. 
Um, but thankfully, even if there wasn't a picture, this does say color H, which does mean Harlequin. So let's say I added in all the information here uh, for this dog. I can save. And if I just click save here, it will keep me on the page that I brought this window up from. Now, if I click save and go to pedigree, it will take me to Jody Warrior Souls pedigree, not Kia's pedigree. So I'm going to click save, not save and go to pedigree. And as you can see, Jody's information is right here in the dam side. And I can continue down the line, adding in her father and mother, blah, 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 in order to complete the pedigree. Especially if when I was entering in her, her parents were not in the database, we're going to have to keep going down the line, adding in those dogs as individual dogs until we get to the point where their ancestors have already been added into the database. So that is what it looks like to enter a dog whose pedigree has not been completed in the database already.